Just as many other impeccably timed chance meetings occurred, the story of Weld Arnold indicates that the Suicide Squad's personalities and their work had begun to gain them positive attention and potential funding, even from the most unusual of sources. Arnold materialized one day on his trusty bicycle. Molina had never met him, but took an immediate liking when he heard his proposition. Weld Arnold would donate $1,000 to the Suicide Squad in return for the opportunity to be their official photographer. The next day, Weld Arnold delivered as promised. In the nearly four years after convincing Von Karman to take a chance on them, the original members of the Gausset Research Group were finally getting taken seriously. It was the first funding they had received. Did Molina take just a little personal satisfaction when he dropped the new funds on the collective desk of all the faculty who balked in the beginning? By 1938, the Suicide Squad had grown. So had their small-scale celebrity status in Southern California. John Parsons was tapped by the city of Los Angeles to be an expert witness for the prosecution in a trial involving a bad cop, a snitch, and a car bomb. They would continue to test their engines and fuels in the Arroyo. Nineteen thirty nine had been a good year for the team. With the guidance of Dr. Von Karman yet again, the Suicide Squad had now co founded what would eventually be known as the Jet Propulsion Lab. 